Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to make um, Pantones or like fake Pantones in PhotoP. So I'm at the website PhotoP.com. Um, I'm going to do a file new and I just want a blank document. Let's see which one. Let's I'm going to change this to inches here where it says new project. 17 by 10, whatever, create, okay, there we go, 17 by 10. Um, now I'm going to open my image, so file, um, open in place, and find a photo that you want to use. So let's see, what do I want to use? Here's a self-portrait. <clears throat> okay. There I am. So here's my image. Now I'm going to start pulling colors from my image. So I'm going to go here to the rectangle select tool. And I'm going to go to this corner. And you can decide if you want to make these like long bars or uh, squares, whatever. I'm going to go like this and select that area. I'm going to go to my eyedropper right here. And when you click, you can see in the left-hand corner down here in your color picker box, get out of here, um, it starts to change. So take the green of my jacket and I'm gonna go to my paint bucket. Where's it at? It's in the gradient tool, so you might have to right-click. And what? Oops, I'm not on the right layer. Make sure you're on your background layer. There we go, there's my first one. I'm gonna make my second box. So I'm gonna overlap it a little to make sure. Got it just right. And you can move it around. Back to my eyedropper. I get one of these other shades of green. Okay, paint bucket. There you go, and I'm gonna keep going all the way down. I don't like how that doesn't match up perfectly, but oh, I don't know what I just did there. Um, you can take this, and you should be able to move it around. So, anyways, yeah, play with that. Um, do a whole row. You can do squares if you like that better. When you're finished, you could crop it. So it's like this. Totally up to you. Um, and then you're gonna file and. Export as JPEG, JPG. Save. <clears throat> I just like to put that on my desktop. I know you guys are on Chromebooks. Um, and then I'm going to post it to the Padlet, and then uh, you're done for the day as long as, long as you've, you've finished that. And I want you guys to start thinking about what you're going to photograph for your monochromatic shoot. Uh, that's what we're going to talk about tomorrow, all monochromatic.